Well, welcome. You've joined us for Faith Friday and we're in our backyard. So like you, we're working from home. It's coronavirus quarantine, but we did not want to miss this opportunity to encourage you in the Lord, That's to right. build your faith in His Word. And you know, I want and, and to... And to let you know that we're in this thing together. together. We are yes. in this thing with you. Whatever's going Amen. on, if it's hard for you today, we care, but most importantly, God cares. Yes. And he's going to take care of these things that concern you. Just keep trusting him. Keep your faith in him. That's what we're here for. We're believing God with you. We're not here to preach at you. We're not here just to throw some scriptures out at you. Yeah, that's we're here right. to build up to your build spirit, you up. man. To build Amen. up your, your whole being <laughs> to where you enjoy serving the Lord today. Mm -hmm. You Amen. live your life with gladness and with peace and, and with grace. Joy. Amen. Yeah. Well, you know, the people of faith are happy people. That's right. Galatians 3, 9 says, So then those who are the people of faith, those who choose to trust God, it says they are blessed. That's right. They experience the blessings of the Lord. No matter what the circumstances are, they're blessed. They're That's made right. happy. You know, if you've lost your joy and your peace today, Romans says that it's found in believing God. So the good news is you've just got to get back in faith, get back to trusting mm -hmm. God. The people of faith are made happy and it says they're favored by God. That's right. Surrounded with favor like a shield. So we're encouraging you today to just stay in faith, keep believing, keep trusting God. And the That's only right. way to do that is for your life to be founded and built and established on the Word. That's it. That's it can't the be established line. on man's opinion, on the news reports, no. on whatever you're hearing going on about you, because that is shifting sand. But if yes, you will build your life on the Word come right on now, now, come on. When the storms of life come, they can't touch you. That's it. Amen. Baby. They That's can't it. harm you. And in a world where everything literally is changing every single day, now more than ever, all of our choices, all of our decisions, all of our words, our actions and reactions need to be built and established mm. on the Word. Amen. The Word, here's why. In the midst of great change, the Word is the only thing that will never change. It never changes. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, Amen. and forever. That's and in Hebrews. And He's the Word, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and He is the Word made yeah. flesh. Hebrews 13, 8. So we can't build our life on what man's opinion is, what the government's saying right now, or the doctors are saying. They can't fix this, or they already would have. Oh they my can't goodness. fix this, or they would have hey already man, done it. I, we live in Texas. This is cowboy country right here in Dallas. <laughs> and, and, and I was reading in the paper today, is the NFL going to be able to start up soon? Oh, I mean, no. there were seven oh, no. billion, the Dallas Cowboys <laughs> franchise is worth seven billion dollars. Jerry, uh, Jerry Jones has a lot of power, but is he going to start up? They got no, are we going to get to see the Stars play any hockey yeah, this year? Or the Mavericks play any basketball? Yeah. You know, the world is out of control. Me and you can't control it. Even billionaires can't mm -hmm. control it. The White House and Wall Street can't control it, but God can control it. Yes. We got to yes. just put our faith in Him. It's going to be okay. Amen, That's right. Baby. And stay established, stay grounded, yeah. stay founded That's on it. the Word of God. That's that means rock. you keep your mind on things above, and then He will keep you in perfect peace when you do that. That's so, it. You know, the, the analogy God gave me for this is, you know, that, that hip movie right now where that young man, he ascends a is it rock solo? cliff. solo? What's that movie called? Free Solo. Free Solo. Free Solo. Yes. Cool. And so he's climbing up that cliff one hand at a time, one foot at a time as he lays hold of a rock or a ledge that is stable. So when you lay hold of each promise of God by faith, you're laying hold of that word, the rock of God's word, and it'll pull you up out yeah, of that circumstance. Yeah. If you lay hold of the joy of the Lord is my strength, it'll pull you up out of depression. It'll pull you up out of discouragement. If yes, you lay will, hold baby. of by his stripes, I am healed. It'll pull you up yeah. out of sickness and disease. Yeah, they will. If you lay hold of all my needs are met according to his glorious riches in Christ, Jesus, then it'll pull you up out of poverty and lack. Amen. Come so on. we just need to lay hold of those promises of God that That's Hebrews good, 10, 23 says, let us hold fast right. 
Think of that rock climber holding fast to that rock, to that ledge. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering because we know he who promised us, he is faithful. Praise God. Yeah, and the good news is, is, is when faithful. you grasp hold of the Thank truth, you, Lord. it faithful. won't retract. It won't fade away. It won't recede under the pressure. That's right. You know, you've seen those rock climbers. Sometimes they'll grab hold of a ledge and it's not strong enough to support their weight and you'll see it crumble beneath them. But the word won't do that. When you lay hold of the that's rock the of God's word, yeah, they crumbles. well, that's the sink and sand. Yeah. That's right. And we'll go there in a second. But when you lay hold of the rock of God's word, it can handle the weight. Yeah. It won't crumble under the pressure. That's right. Jesus said the storms of life come to every house. And that's what's happening right now. Yeah. So that's why our life, Every choice we make right now, every word, every action needs to be built on the rock That's of God's right. word. Matthew 7 and verse 24, King Jesus said, Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And that's what this is all about. Yes. The Word of God. That's what this is about. And the rain came down or descended and the floods came and the wind blew and beat on that house and it did not fall mm -hmm. for it was founded on the rock. The foundation of that guy's house was solid rock. Mm -hmm. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine, that's the Word of God. Yes. And does not do them, who won't trust God and won't obey Him will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand and the rains descended and the flood came and the wind blew and beat on that house and it fell and great was it fall. It wiped out that man's life. It was gone. It was just gone. Yeah. That's what life is like when you build it on anything other than the Word of God. Yeah. Everything else changes in the world. A lot of people when this... When this COVID-19 hit, a lot of very wealthy people lost very huge fortunes in the stock market. Yeah. Everything is changing, Everything's but not changed, God. But not the Word. John 14 and verse 6 in the New King James Version, Jesus said to him, I'm the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. He said, through my truth. And a lot of people say, oh, I'm living my truth. I'm, 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 I'm living it out. Your truth, and own your truth and all that. No, there's only one truth. It's the Word of God. Yeah. Whatever God says, whether you like it or not, that is the truth. Now, when you believe it, it blesses you. Amen. Yeah, that's right. When you build your life on it, that is the rock. The conspiracy theories. Let's stick to the Word. Yes. The Word is your future. The Word is the safe place. If you make decisions built on the sand, any counsel that's not built on the Word of God, that's what that is. Yes. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel, counsel. of the ungodly. Right. And all that that's means is line. people yeah. who believe anything other than what God says. That's right. But the Word, when we build our life on yeah. the Word, it doesn't on, matter baby. what the circumstances are. That's the right. Word will not crumble nope. under pressure. Nope. It can bear the weight of any problem, of will. any issue. It will never give way. It can handle the pressure. So you can stake your life on it. Yeah. Let the Word do the work. Amen. Our part is to believe. They came to Jesus and said, what work do you require of us? And here's the work He said that you believe. Believe in God. Believe also in me. That's the work God requires of you right now. Do the work of believing and then let the Word go to work in your life. Ooh, Amen. say that again. I don't know if I can. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that was the Do Lord. the work of believing and let, and the, let word the Word go to work in your life. Yes, that's Come on, it. Son. Amen. I like Amen. that. That was good. Amen. Man. So with each grasp of faith, here's what, again, I want to go back to that rock climbing analogy. With each grasp of faith, every time you lay hold of a promise of God, of God and you keep climbing higher and higher and you keep Getting pulling promoted. up. You get pulling up out of depression, pulling up out of poverty and lack, pulling up out of fear. When you keep climbing higher and higher soon, you'll be standing on top of that mountain. That's right. Hallelujah. What you Happy once thought was insurmountable, right? Yeah. Um, now you can check out a view that is blessed, that is healthy, that is happy, and that is victorious. That's it. Baby. That is our heart for you today. That is 
the will of God yes, it is. for you today. Yes, so be is. blessed, be encouraged. We love you. We are praying for your victory yes, we every are. day. And every stay day. in the word because that will keep you on, on the, the road, road to, to freedom. freedom.